no matter what hardship I go through, what could be higher than death? I mean, death is the highest thing out there. So every time I come with something that's hard on me, I say, there's something bigger. And death is the biggest thing that you can, you know, struggle and try to overcome and it takes such a long time. My name is Lena Briggs and I was born in Australia. I was raised here. My parents are from Turkey. My journey started, uh, well, my journey of experience and life actually started after my marriage. In the year of 1998, I married a Muslim American brother and we had a six year, alhamdulillah, beautiful marriage experience. And we had five children. <laughs> and alhamdulillah, um, in 2004, uh, during prayer, my husband suddenly passed away. Um, he was at the age of 37. Uh, it was um, difficult because it was an, an expectation. My husband had taught me what tabakul is. Rely on Allah. He always said that. Rely on Allah, no matter what happens. So um, that's what I did. I said I lost the best thing in the world, which is a giving gift from Allah. Materialistic thing is nothing. And that is the truth. It's been 13 years and believe it or not, I've got everything material, but I don't have him. And um, of course, that was the biggest gift and being taken away, it's, the, it's, it's, it's a blessing on one side because Allah Ta'ala loved him more and um, it's hardship on the other side. Uh, the, one thing that I want to take from here as well, explaining it <clears throat> regarding the time of his passing away, it was such a unique time that um, he just got his degree in um, philosophy. He was a doctor of philosopher, so he's been studying all his life. Um, we just had a brand new house, brought a brand new house and a brand new car. So everything was like settled. It only lasted two, three months. So everything in material in this world just goes away. Nothing gets left behind. We're in the year 2017 and it's never changed the war or the heartaches or sudden deaths and um, we need to learn how to appreciate one another I think before the loss. We need to know how to respect one another and be loyal to one another which is it's like you know this many people are left today's world that are in that category and to be able to be within that I think is the best thing so if we can just realize that Qadr is a written law of Allah but it's how much work we put into it that makes it better so Qadr is better within itself Allah Ta'ala does not decree a, a negative life for us but what we, the choices that we make in life, I think that's, that tends to break do, down us all. And what happens is because of our choices, we start blaming people and we start hurting one another. And suddenly when our loved one's lost, we say, oh my God, what have I done? And uh, we accept maybe the death later on, but it's it's like pulling your teeth out, you know, like a wisdom teeth. It just takes off at one go, but it's that emptiness that stays there, you know? It's always there. But it's it's a huge hurt. I wouldn't want anyone to experience it. Mm. It's hard. Um, but may Allah Ta'ala, inshallah, help out all our brothers and sisters around the world who are in pain be protected because... I can't imagine what those mothers, especially, I'm in a relaxed environment when I think about, alhamdulillah, I've got shelter, I've got a car, you know, I've got, uh, I've got the cafe, and um, I've got all these beautiful opportunities set by Allah. But how about those sisters that don't have any of that? They can't even find bread. So, alhamdulillah, um, Before my husband had passed away, when we moved in 1998, from, he wanted me to do a bachelor. It doesn't matter what, he said, as long as you have a degree, because he said, 
you don't know what life will bring because I don't know if I will be with you. So he prepared me for that journey and within the four years, alhamdulillah, I got my bachelor's degree in um, childhood education. And um, have I used it? No, because I've got children that I care for. I have one child with a disability. So um, as you can imagine, it's very difficult to work. <laughs> but um, alhamdulillah, being a carer and a mother is the best thing um, for me that I feel that I can um, be patient about and strong about. Uh, when I came back here, after I gave birth to my child, the fifth one, I, did, I, uh, I wanted to do dawa, so I went into different fields of like scripture teaching, going into other schools, and, and I did that for over nine years. And um, I went to different kinds of um, organizations, helping out. Yes, keeping myself busy, I think that's very important. Mm. But no matter what happens in life, always, always knowing that I'm held by the power of Allah. That, that makes me um, appreciate what's in front of me. You know, so alhamdulillah, I have these. And whatever I don't have, sabr al-jameel. Sabr al-jameel. I say sabr is beautiful. Patience is beautiful. So I try to be on that track at all times. Amazing. <laughs> واستبق الخير ستسعد ثاكاقين أعمارنا أعمالنا وبها سمت أسماؤنا نمضي وتبقى هنا اسماؤنا نمضي وتبقى هناك